What's up guys? This is my stick shift go-kart and this is the box of new parts for it. So today what I'm going to be doing is cleaning up this go-kart completely for a future video stick shift go-kart rips and also just to have a clean cart that's functional. So what have I done to get this thing running? Well, I took this engine into my school's auto lab class and I worked on it about every day for a month. Um, we rewired the entire thing and then I just played around with the jets on the carburetor and eventually we were able to get it to run, which was awesome. So we're going to be taking this engine and putting it on the cart, but first I want to prep the cart because it sort of was in like the prototyping stage when I put it together. So I'm going to clean it up and make it actually look decent. I have a whole bunch of new parts to mount a new exhaust. I'm going to paint it black because there's some just bare metal pieces. Cut off the old brackets that are no longer in use. Weld up some new brackets to, for the fuel tank and the exhaust and some other stuff. I have a new battery for it. That's a big one. Uh, I'm going to be heat wrapping the header because I don't want to burn myself. And um, I got a couple other little stuff like a gravity fed reservoir for the carburetor which I'm going to be running it off of that was I think part of the problem I'll be pumping from my fuel tank which will be between my legs to this gravity fed reservoir straight into the carburetor so there's a lot of great stuff happening here I'm also going to be doing a burnout on these tires for the future video stick shift go-kart rips you'll see the huge burnout in that and then I'm going to be replacing these rear tires with some 12 inch Maxxis tires I got a whole bin of them upstairs uh, like I'll be putting those on. Um, that's about it, so let's cut to the building process of this cart. Update on yesterday. Finished painting the frame black. Um, so that dried overnight. And then I painted the shifters also. Uh, it's completely stripped everything. Um, mounted the fuel tank reservoir up above the engine. And finally, uh, 
spent a good couple hours machining this guy. Um, it's a shift knob for the go-kart. Alright, so I just got my go-kart put back together, now I'm going to take it out for a little drive and make sure it all works, and then I'll start working on the exhaust. Alright, let's see if this guy runs.
replacing these rear tires on this go-kart with these new Max tires. Um, these tires on the go-kart right now don't actually hold air anymore, so they leak every couple of hours. They'll just drain out, um, these rear ones at least. And um, they're, they're actually two different size tires. So this one's wider than that one and a little bit bigger. Um, but so we're going to be replacing it with some that are the same size. They're both um, 12 by 9 by 6 inch. So we're going to be replacing these now. So let's take them off and replace them. Um, I wasn't able to break the beads with the old ones, so I had a local shop do that for me. They just broke the bead, and then I just replaced them, as you saw, with help from Alec. So we're going to stick these guys on the cart, and we'll have the new wheels. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to subscribe for more videos of this go-kart, and for this next video, Stick Shift Go-Kart Rips, it's going to be great, so subscribe for that. Got a couple more go-kart videos coming this summer for you, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.